Are you an adult with asthma, COPD, or another lung-related disease? Or maybe your child is suffering from one of these? Well, the Arizona Respiratory Center is looking for you. Priscilla Taran and Arnhelia Benavides are both here to tell us why they're looking for everyone. Ladies, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And we kind of alluded to this before the commercial break, that you guys actually have studies that could help. Which studies are actually open right now? Uh, there's always a lot of studies going on, but mostly we are um, we have studies uh, with asthma, asthma studies, and any kind of um, lung disease, COPD, and pretty soon we're going to have a food allergy study. Wow, so there are a lot of studies that are open. So who qualifies for each one of these studies? Is it anybody with any of the, uh, those afflictions? Uh, first of all, you do have to be diagnosed with uh, asthma or COPD. You have to be diagnosed. A lot of people sometimes call us and say, hey, I think I have asthma. I think I have this. You have to be diagnosed in order to be in one of our studies. But when people call in to see if they qualify, since we have so many studies going on, usually they are going to qualify for something, for one of our studies. So if somebody has been diagnosed, they think that they're going to be one of those qualified people for one of these studies, what is the process they go to to let you know, I, I would like to be a part? Okay, so anyone can qualify. We have studies for kids, for teenagers, for adults, for everyone. And uh, you can register online or you can call us. And then um, when, when someone talks to you, they're going to ask questions to see if you qualify. Okay. And if people qualify... Then they tell you what the study's about and then set up an appointment. And is a part of these studies also maybe experimental drugs and to, and to see if, you know, it may help you but also may end up helping the bigger good of everyone? Yeah, so actually we have a lot of people who hesitate to maybe give us a call because they think we're going to experiment on new drugs. But um, all of our studies are trying to ultimately find better treatments for those people who suffer these conditions. And we don't, are, we're not trying anything new. We're not experimenting with drugs. These are drugs that have been used or are used for other conditions maybe but so we ultimately want to find something that um, maybe those especially those with severe asthma that have tried absolutely everything um, maybe they can try something else and it could help them and I know we're doing something actually really special with the uh, Tucson Unified School District yes yes we are at 20 TUSD schools and it's uh, it's called sounds and it's a supervised asthma medication where the nurse of the school gives the medications to the kids and records it and everything. We also have nurses from the center going there and checking on the kids and talking to them and teaching them how to control their asthma. Wow. Yes. This is a great collaboration. It is. It is. And it's helping a lot of kids that otherwise they wouldn't be able to uh, have access to the medication or learn that they have to be consistent with the medication. Right, so if you teach them young and, and get them on a habit mm -hmm. as they become adults, it'll be easier to manage uh, the asthma. Now, if somebody would like, whether it's children, teenagers, or adults, and they want to be a part of the study, does it cost anything to be a part of the study? For the one at the schools right now, they're not enrolling anymore. Okay. Um, it ends in May, uh, but um, it's been two years at TUSD, and it's been wonderful. Hopefully, it's going to keep on going, but um, if people wanna, want to... Um, to be a part of it, it's completely free. Okay. It, all of our studies are completely free. We provide the medication, and we pay people from $100 to $900 to participate in the studies. So not only does it not cost anything, you're actually going to walk away with a little bit of money as well. So yes. why is it important that we need people to be a part of the studies? Well, like I was saying, we're trying to find better treatments, and so we need as much people as possible so that we can find more numbers and find people and see if these treatments actually work for those, um, for those people who are suffering these conditions. And now the studies or the time that you need uh, someone to participate, is that varying depending upon the study? Do you maybe need them a shorter amount of time or longer amount of time? Um, yeah, like Priscilla was saying, they, they, all the studies are different. They have different focuses, but we work with your time. Um, we try to find a day and a time that will work best for you. And then depending on um, where in the city you are, it does, it does have different requirements. Well, that's good. I think that it's, like you said, you work with what works with, yes. with them because yes. they're giving up their time to come, Absolutely. to come and try to help. So the best thing I'm getting from this is that they should just call and go through the mm -hmm. questions to see if they fit into something. Yes. And there's no obligation. Not because you called or you registered online, that means that you have to do it. You can say, you know what, I'm not interested. This is not for me. It's okay. 
and everything that we have today, all the medical advances, all started with people that took their time to help out. Yes. And you get to be a part of such a bigger thing, which is, I think, amazing. Yes. So, ladies, thank you so much for coming. Thank I you. hope that people hear this and come out and give a call to see if they're available. Yes, yes. Thank, yes. You. thank you. Thank you so much. The Arizona Respiratory Center is looking for children and adults who suffer from asthma, COPD, and other lung-related disease. Now, to participate in research studies to find out if you qualify or just for more information, call 626 Six nine five four three, or go online to lungresearch.arizona.edu.